the driveway they cut in. This was the, the reason they did this. Friends, on steep grades and a stick shift, just drop her in the lowest gear you got and just let your clutch out. Don't ride your brakes, ride the tranny. See, I'm not applying any brakes at all. This is steep, steep grade too. So, so we, we had issues. See these two trees? Okay, they're big, they blew over. See these? This was when the gentleman was excavating and I, I actually asked him, I said, wow, that's, you, you, you think you might have undermined the fir trees? And uh, yeah, he did. Hi, Larry. Famous Larry. Looks like a new show. That's right, Larry. Just a quick prelude. Oh, no, that one's coming out too. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, okay, well, I better move. I just want to show something really quick, Larry. You okay with that? Um, so friends, we, we, this is that, remember we let the big fur and the maple go and the hydro line and I was climbing and blowing in the wind there that day? Um, th this, you know, when, when you're up logging friends, you'll see right away gets made, but your logging roads, they're, they're logging roads. So it doesn't matter. You'll see them there. There's trees hanging right off the side of the road. Well, this is big timber. It, it's big timber. There's three trees. And I, when I was here, I saw, I looked up the driveway and thought, wow, that looks a bit tight to the road. Don't you think? And he's like, oh, well, what do you, I mean, you got to build the driveway. And yes, you do. You do. But just, just remember something. If you're building road or if you're doing anywhere, think about the whole situation. Like, is this a logging road? Nobody, the tree goes over, no big deal. Well, if a tree goes over here, say somebody's injured or a heart attack and, and or a windstorm and something hits a house or something happens and they can't get out because that's what would happen here. And that's what did happen. Larry, two come over. These two come over, friends. And Larry, where were these two? They were sitting there. Well, they were up there. They were here. Yeah. Yeah, so, so they got undermined. Yeah, so they got excavated. That's what happened. These trees got excavated and they blew right over and Larry just come up with the backhoe and cleared the road. But we can't live like this. You, you just, there's no way. So we're going to send him up the driveway. I might even get Larry to do a little filming while the trees get knocked over. Yeah, because yeah, you can hang out down here, Larry. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Okay. Uh, so that's the deal. These three are coming, friends. That one, these two, and we're just going to throw them up the hill there's no way we can leave this. There's a, there's an actual camp here. There's a Bible camp up here. It's just glorious in here. I've worked here a few times. I always like coming yeah. here. Okay, enough babble. I'm gonna pull down. That's our last tree right there. And friends, it's good sized timber. Somebody was requesting the, uh, the McCulloch uh, Super Pro 81. Funny thing is, it was on the list to get run. And a special thing today for my buddy that we're building a wedge banger for right today. I just finished it last night. It's a Helco with a big wallop and back pole on it. Buddy, your, your, your ax is getting on the video. I'm gonna bang some wedges with us today and I'm gonna need it. So it fits right in my old pouch here beautifully. So we're gonna do that. Talk to you in a minute. Morning, Larry. Morning. How are you? Couldn't be better. Good man. That's what I'm thinking today too. It's Friends, pretty nice. Out. A huge yeah, shout gorgeous. out to Larry. Yeah, nice. Okay, can we can we say to, hi to Larry and thank so you for a, his help today? Friends, once in a while I get an opportunity to use someone's axe that we built. This is a Helco. It was it was designed as a wedge banger, and whenever I make a wedge banger. There's a couple things I take into consideration. It's the pole surface, friends, for obviously this action. You don't want a rounded over surface or a small pole. Wedge bangers want nice big poles, you see, like this. Uh, another thing is the handle. This is about the only handle that's curved. He specified curved. I run straight handle usually for, for wedge banger, friends, but this one, it's a whiskey river for some reason because of the shape of this. It's beautiful for banging wedges. I love this thing. So uh, this will be fun. We'll get to try our buddy's wedge banger. Thanks, Larry. You can mm -hmm. shut her down. You know, deer trail here or something, Larry. 
Okay, friends, so this was the footage when I lost my phone that I was grieving over terribly. I, I thought this was all gone, and it was gone, till I found my phone in the grass in a ditch. Now, um, I'm just going to let you watch this, but this is going to be a good video. This is a great video. This timber is laying back hard. It's all laying in the wrong direction. We have to get tricky here, but this is a great, great show. Uh, video and it shows everything up pretty close. I got some GoPro footage as well. So friends, sit back, grab a coffee and enjoy this. You're, you're really going to enjoy this. And we got some new machinery and some interesting mufflers and the old 81 gets to work. Yeah. I may have to use that back one to hit this one. Yeah. Holy smokes. Look at this, friend. Yeah, look at the bend in it. It's got a big bend back this way. So we'll start with this one. I actually may have to do that, Larry, which I don't mind doing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So friends, I uh, th this is this is my favorite work. I'm, I'm just gonna tell it to you right now. This is watch when he pans up. Look at this one behind me. How hard it's leaning back and all the bones. Look at that. This one I have to bang hard and it goes. But the, the, that next one behind, very interesting. But this is where this is where I like to be. This is this is my place and. Uh, I'm just in such a good, focused, grateful mood today on this job and being with my good buddy Larry. Please say hi to Larry, friends, and give him some kudos and shots in the in the in the comment section, please. He does a great job. Falling, Larry. <laughs> okay, friends. Larry's after. Uh, he's after twenty-two footers, friends. But this here has got a kink in it, and 
if I make a 22 footer here, the, the mill guy's gonna be cursing me. So we're gonna take a short usable log, 10 six right here. So friends, I'm gonna voice over this buck. So you hear me say compression first. Compression means the pinch, okay? Compression is pinch. And also we're on a steep grade. You wanna get that low bottom side first. That's, that's the tough wood. So here I'm bucking, but what I do to, to create less pull when it's time to buck the tension wood and break the log, I take a little teeny sliver out. Watch it kick out of there. Okay, friends, so again, so the compression is what you want to take first. So think of it like, hey, if I cut there, I'm going to get pinched. Then cut there. Just don't get pinched, right? So you see what I'm doing here. Watch the buck. We get, now watch what I do here. See that little extra little piece I'm going to take? If I don't do that, the log will close up and break and pull. Okay, so watch what happens here. Okay, friends, so here's our deal. Uh, I'm gonna take the old Super Pro up there. It's big wood. It's actually big wood. We got our first one out, friends. We got it on the phone, but I, I had the, the GoPro on picture. Look at this. Look at the freaking lay on this thing. No bones on the inside of it, which is where we're going, up the hill. We're trying to save everything out. First one come out just glorious, but this one, it's, <laughs> it's laying hard back to the everything down here. We're taking that one too, so I may utilize that one to, to take this one out. Friends, this thing's hard back. Look at the bow in it for starters and all the way to them bones. I'll see if I can throw something down the bottom end, but I can't throw it too low. I can't utilize the low, the low because of, of a save out. I gotta save this tree out. So that's our plan. We're gonna try the old Mac. Hopefully it's not cutting too hungry and, and make me look like a fool. Bit of topsoil mixed in. <laughs> okay, here's our last stump. What they're looking for. Very nice. 
Good looking stump right there. So friends, watch the banging of the wedge. Watch what happens. When your ax bounces off, like hard bounces off, you know you're 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 hard so back you can't you can't even lift the tree anymore. So friends, I'm gonna I'm just gonna edit out a bunch of this uh, banging because I sink one, I sink another one side by side, and my axe starts bouncing. This stuff's leaning back hard. 
and the wind is against us. A slight breeze, but with a big crown, it don't take a big breeze to slow you down. So this was a strenuous uh, bang, friends, uh, all of it. I wasn't even gonna attempt to get that one out in front. Not, not a chance. So let's carry on here. friends look at the lift we got it's amazing you got hydro line right there is it ticket Larry? this is our ticket right here so Friends, what does this tell you about the lean on these trees? That's double banging. There we go! Oh yeah! That is a thing of beauty. So friends, let's talk about this. Okay, look at the hinge, you see? So these trees, friends, were laying back hard, like hard. I got a hydro line right behind me. That is a thing of beauty. So friends, let's talk about this. Okay, look at the hinge, you see? So these trees, friends, were laying back hard, like hard. I got a hydro line right behind me. There's no way around, give me your hand, Larry. So, you see what I'm saying? Like you, you, you cut more, you cut that corner off, it's on the hydro line behind you yep. right now. Right friends? So saved out completely up on the high side of the bank. A guy could drive out of here for crying out loud. If we had a shot low, we'd have broke the timber. But there's nothing but a bang show. It, it just is what it is. You, you gotta do it. And, and there's your proof that that's, we were cut up. I was banging, getting, make sure I got stuff set and I, my saw was out here. That's why I go around and check and find my power saw, find my tip. But look, there's our first cut right there. See that little, see that little swoosh layer right there? But look, there's our first cut right there. See that little, see that little swoosh layer right there? That's why we go get our bottom wood right there. 
first on a situation like this because you can't cut down there you'll fall yeah. down yeah so that's the idea and finish up on the high side the beautiful thing larry thanks for filming old boy it's perfect me and larry have matching fingers friends <laughs> look yeah. Look at that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay good so i'll just clean this up and uh see the swoop there yeah You take a short one off the bottom? I, I would, Larry, just because, I mean, you can't make a 22-er there. No, you can't get a straight wood. So I'm, I'm almost thinking just a, a quick short log. <laughs> okay, friends, this is opposite to the bucks that we've been doing. The compression here is on the bottom. The pinch is on the bottom, so I go after it right away. Get it out. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is totally opposite. You take that under buck, get all that wood out of there. Gosh, that looks good. Right? Finish up, put a little slice in the bottom, come up over top and finish the buck up. And watch what we do here. I pull a little V out of the bottom, ever so slightly so it doesn't change the shape of the log. Like it just, you know what I mean? Just drop a little, like an undercut. Teeny little narrow, narrow undercut, maybe an inch. Watch what happens here, watch this. And then you get down to the dry line sort and they're all looking at your who, who bucked this wood? Who, who fell this? Remember, friends, your name. It's your work is your name. They see your wood all torn up. Who fell this? Oh, this guy. Oh, don't get him again. You won't work. You won't be working. first Lar. okay it's on the bottom side and this yep. is a stable log here <clears throat> yeah so we're got a sap running in her. yeah the sap's running in her what do you think there Ah! Uh -huh. 
the man, the photographer. Okay, friends, there she lays, just bringing back memories for me, boy. That's, that's probably, that's a third of a load. Big, big trees like that. It's come out just beautiful, friends. Just absolutely glorious. Right up the high side of the right of way. Saved everything out. There was a dip there, but we landed up high. It we we saved them out right to the four inch tops. It's beautiful. Okay, Larry's gonna grab his back. All right, Larry's gonna let me out. I'll tell you, friends, this uh, this kind of work. Uh, I really enjoy. It's nice timber. Like I mean, really nice timber. Larry's got a he's got a he's a smart man. He's got a. A thumb on his back oh he's just he's been around right friends so do you understand what I mean by if I had a shot down here there's a big gully we just smashed the timber right in the most prominent spot of the log the gut shot you, you would have broke it you see she come out of here we stayed on the high side the guy ripped the roots right off these trees the three of them all our stumps look bang on very nice holding wood all the way across the stump just bang. When you got hydro lines behind your friends, I mean, you, you, there are hydro lines everywhere. <laughs> anyway, things turned out real nice today. And I'm happy to do it for Larry. I think the deal is, friends, how he's, how he's going to pay me is uh, a 2100. Yeah, he's got a 2100, he said. So, uh, I'm all right with that. Well, there's our setting our mini side hill show gosh i miss it i really do friends there's a real art to laying out timber and gosh it's just it's a, it's like a video game i i gotta be honest friends it is to me it, it it's like a video game that's how i see it and just in between stumps and you get it's such a such a neat neat craft i i you know, like your stumps, you gotta, you know what I mean? There's reasons you do things. And this one just laid out beautifully. Everything laid out in the pocket on this one, you know, in behind the stumps, holding the timber on the side hill and just, it, you know, like fluffy landings, nothing broke. We saved out to like, seriously, like four inch tops, right up the high side of the right away. You know, anyway. Just very enjoyable. Thank you so much for watching and being here and listening to my ramblings of life. We've all had a life so far, thus far, and we've all got experience and knowledge to this point. And I'm far from done. I'm far from done learning and exploring and inspiring, actually. I want to inspire folks to live their best life. You don't have to be unhappy. You don't. If you are choosing to be unhappy, then you will stay that way. But if you want a way out, it's right freaking there. Grab it. You're the only one that can do it. Nobody's gonna make you happy. No woman's gonna make you happy. No man's gonna make you happy. See you on the next one, friends. Work hard, be honest. Most of all, be kind to one another. See you on the next one. Larry's almost got me out of here. I'm gonna get the power saw, clean up some of these. Under see, you can see those were on the underside. You see the angle of the knots? <laughs> you can see these are flush. See, those are flush. That was on the underside that I could scrape. Look at that. <laughs> yeah.